What's going on, guys? Shush! I'm trying to film over here. Today we're live on site at uh, <laughs> my cousin's farm uh, in Iredale County. It's the next county over from where I live, across the Catawba River in North Carolina. And uh, we're going to take some of these cows to the sale barn today up in Turnersburg. Not these, but uh, some of those down there. So those are, uh, in this lot here, those are all uh, heifers, except there's one bull. I don't think we're going to take the bulls. I'm not sure what his plan is. We'll get it straightened out. He's gone to get the uh, livestock trailer. Uh, it has been raining nonstop in uh, western North Carolina for about three or four days. Um, and it is muddy, super muddy. And uh, it's not a whole lot of fun out here. But I'm going to get her done today. A uh, couple of these I'm going to take home. I'm not sure if I'll take them home today or one day later on this week. It's Monday. Um, last Monday in, uh, March 28th, something like that. But, uh, that's what we're doing today. These are all bulls in here, except that's a mama cow. The white face. And, uh, like I say, that's a bull right there with the white face looking right at us. But he's not going. As far as I know, all these heifers are going to the sale today. He's got about 70 some cows out here. He don't like to keep that many. But I think prices have been down. So he's been holding on to them. March is a good month to sell cows. Price usually goes up in March. So he's been holding on to them. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. I'll try to get some footage of us loading them up. It's uh, it's gonna be difficult. I didn't bring my phone holder, my little tripod. So it's gonna be hard to get some footage of me loading them up. Cause that's a full-time job but anyway we'll see what we can do there's the trailer cows are excited about it he's already stuck it's wet out here it is wet this is gonna be fun fun is a uh, word i would use to describe this I'll hush up. You got it, Johnny. There you go. You don't want some dry, dry grass there. Well, we got a little stuck. So <laughs> it's muddier than hell out here. So we got the big Kubota out here. Pulling this out. We got the trailer behind me. All right, after a, <clears throat> a ton of mess, we finally got this thing back in here. It took us like 10 tries. I had to get on the tractor and push the trailer. Because it kept wanting to flow downhill. Couldn't get no traction in the truck to make it turn. So now we're getting these cows loaded up. Maybe. Pull up, Dave. Get up hey. in there. Get up in there. Hey. Hey. Hard to go that way, Gigger. Get in there. Get up. Get up. Hey. Get up. Get up. All right, we managed to get those into the trailer. Uh, somewhere out here in this lot, there's another bull. wants to try to get in there so he's trying to get them to come back in the corral or we can load one of these bulls up it's right there i think it's got a white face so we come this far it took a, a gigantic effort to get this trailer back into this mud hole so we're trying to get as many of them as we can loaded up Takes me back to the old milk barn days. I used to work on my uncle's dairy. There's that white face. Right there. Two white face bulls. Both of them coming at us right here. We're gonna try to get them loaded up. All right, we're trying to get those last two loaded up, but we're gonna have to uh, 
use a tractor to pull the truck out anyway, so. I'll put some feed in there and try and get them to come in there and feed to load them up. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get this tractor ready to pull this truck out. It's a Kubota. I-9000. It's pretty sweet. It's sweeter than anything I got. Alright, we'll hook this chain up. Hopefully we can get this beast out of here. Alright, we're finally loaded up. It only took us two hours to get like 10 cows loaded, but we're headed to the sale barn. Well, I'm back at my own farm. I didn't film anything dropping off the uh, cows at the cattle sale because we didn't go in. We just drove through uh, the drop-off stall and dropped them off. They counted them, gave us the tag, and we left. Uh, my cousin normally doesn't stay. He just comes back the next day and picks up his check for the cows. So I didn't film any of that, but I did film as much as I could of the struggle about uploading the cows. We ended up with eight in the trailer. Uh, one of them was a heifer, but he didn't feel like trying to get it back out. So that heifer got sold too. So we ended up with one cow, which he was selling because it couldn't, it produced, uh, this last two calves have been stillborn. And so he was getting rid of it and then six bulls and the one heifer so but those are the cows i'm getting uh, a week from today next monday i'm going back over there we're going to load up some more cows take to the sale and then we're going to load up <clears throat> at least two cows two heifers uh, for me maybe three and bring them back over here to the farm so hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you liked it subscribe to the channel i'm giving away free subscriptions won't cost you nothing uh, like the channel like the video. It really helps me out. Appreciate it, guys.